Hey everybody, good evening. Good evening from your Miss Tanya's Prime Time TV Media Reviews, aka Tanya has no Tanya has no limit. Ha! Tanya knows no limit. <laughs> I know I'm a little late. I was supposed to uh be live at 10 p.m. But I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in these YouTube streets, and it was hard to pull away from somebody else's live. Um, if anybody knows Sean Bradley, um, they're trying to put together a petition um, against YouTube for, uh, I guess, to try to get rid of certain people on YouTube who are making what they are calling terroristic threats to other YouTubers. So y'all might want to check that out. Um, I was watching earlier about that and I ain't never had any issues. <laughs> Cross my fingers. <laughs> Not so good with anybody on YouTube. <clears throat> um, I try to stay in my own lane and do, do what I do. Do my little reviews, my little commentary on TV shows, reality shows, you know, trending news every now and again. And of course, some movies, you know, with my sisters from another Mr.'s uh, movie review um, segment with my girl, Samantha, you know, Sammy D. But anyway, um, it's so much going on YouTube and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to say half the time. Like I said, I try to stay in my own little lane and do me. So that's what I'm going about to do tonight. Um, this live tonight is over uh, Married to Medicine season oh god what season are we on season five i believe Ooh, oh that's bad i don't even know uh, i do know it's reunion uh part two <laughs> so we going over um uh, reunion part two married to medicine and i should look up the season so i can put it on the live so hold on one second but oh yeah while y'all coming in please check in that means hit that like button See, Mary to medicine. Uh, okay. Hit the like button. Share my video, please, to whatever platform that you use. And also, if you are not a subscriber of my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for some of the greatest commentary on TV shows and reality show reviews. Thank you very kindly. Thank you very kindly. But yes, we are on season, actually season six. Yep, it's season six, and this is uh, part two of the reunion, and we're going to get right into it, get right into it. Um, and as usual, if you have anything to say about the TV show, about any of the cast, um, your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, please feel free, put it right in the chat. Put it right in the chat. Y'all who watching me on Instagram, put it right in the comments. <laughs> you know how you feel about, you know, anything I say or anything that happened on the TV show. So don't be shy. Feel free to, you know, com communicate with me. But anyway, um, reunion part two. Now, first off, first off, let me just say real quickly. Um, I just like to say that I 100% believe that what heavenly had to say <laughs> uh, regarding you know her and the other ladies like sometimes we just don't even think the ladies even like each other at all like i'm surprised ain't nobody bounced up off the tv show like period like you know what forget these contracts forget this little money you know we don't need all this drama you know what i'm saying but she was like you know what we all love each other in our own type of way in a very special <laughs> deranged crooked and psychotic way but nevertheless we all love each other in a you know our own little way <laughs> and it's true because like one minute they're you know crying together they're crying and snotting over you know different issues and loving all over each other and then like in the very next minute they barking at each other yelling screaming arguing you know uh talking about each other calling each other out their names you know hey Y'all already know Mariah. I mean, not Mariah, but Mariah's mama. Uh, Heavenly always, 
always talking about her mama. Your mama this, your mama ugly, your mama's a, you know, that, that's heavenly. She didn't try to stop. They didn't try to talk to her. They didn't try to coach her. She didn't been going to therapy. Like, I don't know how long. <laughs> and for some reason, she can't grow up enough to say, I am not going to start, you know, I'm not going to continue to talk about people's mamas. She promised that last season. She still was doing it this season. So hopefully by next season, she'll have it all out of her system. But anywho, anywho. Um, but these women, you know, it's kind of like a love, hate, love, war. No in-betweens, no in-betweens. But we open up this reunion part two. And they was, you know, it was a continuation uh, where they ended last week. They were yelling at each other, screaming at each other. Mariah and Quad. I, I don't think they will ever, ever, ever be friends again. Ever. <laughs> I mean, on the show, off the show, in the next life, I don't think they will ever be friends again. Um, They was up there just going off at each other. And it was about the allegations still. Um, Mariah firmly believes, like seriously believes, that Quad slept with her brother-in-law. Um, it was all over the blogs. I mean, all over YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. Um, Mariah even said that her and her sister, you know, once they found out or got wind of it, you know, they went over to Carl's house to confront her. And while confronting her, you know, when they went over her house, Quad opens up the door and guess what she's wearing? They claim... She allegedly was wearing Mariah's sister's husband's shirt. <laughs> now, I'm going to need to see some proof. <laughs> I want to know what shirt it was. Was it a t-shirt? Was it a woman beater? Was it a, <laughs> a business shirt? I mean, a sweater? <laughs> we need some proof. We need some proof because Quad, you know, she's still denying it. I ain't slept with no married man. I ain't slept with your sister's husband. But I'm kind of like with Andy. Like, why would Mariah keep throwing her sister out there? I mean, if I truly didn't believe that somebody slept with my sister's husband, I'm not going to be on national TV. Yeah, my sister's man cheated. Because that's, you, that's what you're basically saying. It, my sister's man done cheated. And he cheated with this girl right here, this lady right here. So she's putting her sister's information out there, um, her brother-in-law's information out there. And I'm not saying, I, I, hey, it's allegations as far as I'm concerned because I wasn't there. So I, I'm not saying that Quad did sleep with her brother-in-law, but... But it sure did seem like they had a lot of proof about that. And then on top of that, I mean, remember that when Quad and uh, when she was about to marry Dr. Gregory, um, they had got into it like a big old heated altercation dispute, you know, got arrested, mug shots, all that. I mean, they still ended up being together, getting married, you know, and all, and all that, this, that, and the third. But it was around the same time that Quad um, was allegedly, allegedly sleeping with Mariah's brother-in-law. So I don't know. I don't know. But again, I'm with Andy. Why would she just keep throwing her sister out there like that if she really don't believe her sister's man cheated? But, you know, you know. But anywho, um, then like five minutes into the show, Toya... <laughs> Toya was missing her liquor. She was like, Andy, this is just too much. Just too much. <laughs> Can we please get a cocktail? <laughs> Can we please get a cocktail? I, uh, Man, if they had those ladies on there drinking, it would be, you think they on 10 now. I don't know what would happen. I don't know what happened. Then you know Mariah, she, was, she known now for breaking uh, wine glasses. So she, we don't need her to be having no glasses in her hand, nothing like that while she's up there arguing with Quad. <laughs> Even though last time it was, you know, she was arguing with Mariah. But anywho, um, Aiden. Aiden was so 
I've never seen this side of Aiden. Aiden was... I've never seen that side of Aiden. He was so angry. Like, so angry. He was going off. I mean, his face, it just seemed like he just turned into a monster. Like, he was enraged. And I'm like, is this the real Aiden? Or is this the Aiden that just don't play when it comes to my family, Aiden? Because he was pumped. Like, all he kept yelling, I mean, from, from all the gibberish, because it was bleeping out. I think he was cussing her out and calling her MFs and Bs and, you know, you know, referring to Quad. But they was bleeping out some of it. But what I caught was um, he kept saying stuff like, we let her live in our house. She was homeless, you know, living in her car. I even heard he say he paid her bills. And I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. Did y'all see little mama Lucy? Like little old sweet mama Lucy. She was sitting there with her church hat on. <laughs> she was sitting there with her church hat on in the corner, clutching her pearls. I was like, oh my God, little Lucy was just looking like, what the, I, I mean, he didn't care. He was going off cussing and everything around little Miss Lucy. Uh, poor mama, poor mama. <laughs> and my brother was like, no, 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 we on film, we on camera. And he didn't calm down. We on, everything's recorded. Like, I'm so glad they was, they was bleeping everything out though, you know, but we caught that. Um, you was homeless and sleeping on their couch and... Not, well, probably not sleeping on the couch because they got a big old house. Probably got like three, four extra bedrooms. But anywho, you was homeless, they say. And sleeping in your car, they say. And he was paying your bills. Like Mariah, you had some, you had your man paying her bills. But then you got to keep in mind that they used to really be close. Mariah and Quad used to be close, like really close, like BFF close. You know, when Mariah first brought her on to the, you know, to the show. So I guess I can picture, you know, you asking your husband, you know, my bestie, my BFS, she's down on her luck right now. Can we please help her? Because, you know, his money, her money, and vice versa, you know, when you're married. So for things like that, you do have to discuss it amongst each other. So that's probably what happened, you know, help her pay her bills, get on her feet. I don't know. I don't know. But Miss Ma Mama Lucy, <laughs> she looked like, oh, my God, my brother, my, my son-in-law. Mm. But anyway, um... That was that was crazy. That was crazy. But I was like, dang, Aiden, where all this come from? I mean, he was getting bad, biggie bad. But um, I understand why he was mad. You know, I, I understand his point of view. Um, I'm not gonna say that he probably was dragging it out because we don't know everything, we don't know all the behind the scenes stories. But when he kept saying she was trying to defame, you know, their marriage and stuff, I'm like, okay, now Mariah kind of did too. She also did try to defame somebody's uh, marriage, like maybe Heavenly's, um, defame Heavenly's husband. Uh, she did apologize for it now, but, but like, like Heavenly said, I'm not accepting what Mariah said as far as regarding to um, she would never make up anything like that about somebody's husband. Because if you would never make up anything like that about somebody's husband, can we please have them receipts? <laughs> Heavenly was like, I I'm still waiting on the receipts and I was hoping she brought them today, brought them today. But she still didn't bring no receipts. But she claims she would never just put stories out there like that. So why would you bring up something like that and put it out there on a national platform without any receipts? She never brought any receipts. But she sure seemed serious about, you know, Damon sleep, sleeping around on... I, I still don't believe it. I said it before um, a few episodes back. I said it before... I, I I need to to see some receipts because <laughs> I just don't think he would cheat on her. I just thought that I mean, for one, I think he'd probably be too scared to because Heavenly seemed like she would take a cast iron skillet upside his head while he sleep in the middle of the night. I mean, strangle him with his stethoscope. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't, I just don't think so. But anywho, anywho, um, Heavenly, although she, dis, she, she can get disrespectful, um, sometimes, especially when talking about somebody's mama, uh, Mariah, I think she just, when she brought that up, that storyline, I think she just, you know, was so angry at Heavenly. She really don't know how to roast and gag like Heavenly. So to piss her off, she makes up a lie. Say Damien's cheating on her. But you know what? Y'all let me think. Y'all let me know what I think. Do y'all think that, um, right, that basically she brought that story up. She really don't have no receipts. It was a big old lie that she, you know, spit out there into the universe. I don't think she heard it from somebody else. I really don't. I think she just said that because she was just angry at Heavenly. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I'm even just a little bit right, <laughs> which I do think I am. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm still tripping off the fact that she broke that glass on their trip, on their couple's trip. Like, I guess I'd rather for her to do that than try to cut somebody because Mariah, she, I, I don't care. Now, this part, I'm going to just say, I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what she say. I don't care what the producers say. Mariah broke that glass for a reason on that chair. Don't nobody break no glass. Don't nobody break no bottle by mistake and then be holding on to it for dear life. They they up there begging her, Mariah, give us the glass. Give us the glass. She holding on to the stem of the glass like, I'm like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You really about to get the slashing and stuff? <laughs> I mean, on the set? I don't know. Like I said, they don't need no liquor. Toya talking about, can we get some, uh, <laughs> can we get some, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting no cocktails, no nothing. <laughs> but anywho, I'm still tripping off of that. But, um, as far as, uh, Jackie being the shadiest, Andy was like, who do y'all think is the shadiest out of all the ladies on the show. And some of them was like, Jackie, oh, uh, do y'all agree? I can't get down with that one. I cannot co-sign that one. I'm going to have to say out of the shadiest on the show, I got a few choices. Mariah. Because she can be very mean sometimes. Heavenly. <laughs> no explanation needed. <laughs> and Toya. <laughs> them the three. Them is my three. Um, Jackie. Jackie can be shady, but it's kind of more like uh, like a comedy, like she's joking around, like a kiki. You know, little joke with her homegirls, you know, girlfriends, you know. Um, the rest of them, though, yeah, I think they're a lot shadier than Jackie. But anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel because I don't agree. I don't agree. But then, Simone. Whew, hold on, let me take a drink. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. They can't have no drink, but I can't. Simone. Why is she going to sit up there telling them tales? Why is she going to sit up there lying? Like, really lying? She sat right there on that couch and told Andy that she is the type of person. These are her words. Her words. She told Andy that she is the type of person who will not pry into your personal business. But will give you a hug when the door is open when you are ready and when the door is not open these are her words she will not bother them i was like is she for serious <laughs> not for real are you for serious simone i mean how many times did she go off how many times was she you know having a back and forth screaming match with quad you know about opening up regarding her marriage or or lack of and then she gonna sit there um 
I wasn't, I wasn't referring to your marriage, you know, when I was, I, it was just in general, you really just don't talk to me or tell me anything, no, you was talking about her marriage, because that's all you were talking about every time you was screaming and yelling at her, and she's so gosh darn loud, oh my god, I'm still, I gotta put in some light, little, little cotton swabs in my ear when she started going off, because that girl, oh god, she should be a singer, she should really have been a singer. Good Lord. Too bad God didn't bless her with no vocals because she, <laughs> she just like, Rrr, just, ooh. Anyway, but anyway, um, Quad was looking at her like, what the hell? You just going to sit here? Quad was sitting there all cute like, really? You going to sit here and tell that fabrication? <laughs> But I mean, like this entire season, y'all just seem to have been mainly focused on Quad and trying to get Quad to let her walls down, you know, to let people in. But I said it before and I'm going to say it again. When you want people to let you in, you know, let you into that personal, that painful place. You really have to come at them like you really, truly, genuinely care. Like you're really concerned. And not just acting like you are just another nosy rosy trying to get the 411 on somebody's pain, somebody's issues, somebody's problems, somebody's dilemmas. I mean, you have to really, truly act like you really, really care. And that's, that's the whole season. Before Quad sat down and started telling them what was going on, they was not acting like they really, really cared until that time where I think uh, Simone broke down and they was crying and Quad was crying and, you know, they kind of like made up for a moment, you know what I'm saying? But before that, it was just like, what's going on? What's going on? Why you ain't talking? Is your mayor? Is your mayor? Is your moving out? Where's the furniture? You know, just... <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't tell y'all half us nothing either. <laughs> Get out of my face with that mess. But anyway, anyway, then did y'all notice how Toya, she was like, she has a great circle of friends, which to her is only Mariah, Heavenly, Simone, and Jackie. But to her, Quad isn't her friend anymore because she can't openly and freely talk back and forth with her like she can do with the other ladies. Um, <laughs> See my past response. See my last response. <laughs> I mean, do y'all think Quad acts like she is the star of the show? I'm listening. Do y'all feel like she acts like she is better than anybody else on the show? I'm listening. Is this the real reason why Toya does not want her to join them anymore on the couple's trips? I'll wait. <laughs> I mean, I found it pretty, pretty strange. I, that's the word I'm going to use, strange. For Toya to be behaving like this. Like, honestly, to me, to me, my opinion, I believe that Toya, and I don't know why she she's like this, but I feel like she has some kind of insecurity when it comes to Quad. I can't put my finger on it because truly all those women on the show has... They, 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 they all beautiful. Let me just put that out there. They're all beautiful. Um, they all seem pretty smart, pretty intelligent, even the ones who aren't doctors, even the ones who are housewives. Um, Toya, she's a very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just sensing that when it comes to quad, like she got some kind of insecurities, like she is the only one. The only one that is really, really, really trying to keep Quad from going on the couple's trips. Um, but when she kept saying, like, Andy was like, why do you keep saying this? Why Why do you think, shouldn't Quad be the one to say if she wants to go? 
you know, if y'all offer, she should be allowed to, you know, at least be invited and then turn it down if she doesn't want to go. Uh, but then Toya was like, why would you, why would you, quad, why would you want to be around my man? Not, why would you want to be around our man? Why would you want to be around their man? But why would you want to be around my man? And I'm like, hold up. <laughs> first of all, first of all, it's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, she just seems to have a lot of built up animosity, you know, towards Quad that has nothing to do with not opening up to them, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, Please keep in mind that Toya also had went off on Quad earlier. In the season, because she didn't open up to her immediately, you know, when they thought that she should open up to, her. they kept pressing her and pressing her. She was like, "I don't want to talk about it right now." Um, she, Toya was one of the ones that was going off about it, and sometimes I felt like during the season that Toya was being a bit of a bully at times, just a bit of a bully at times. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. But um, again. Again, Andy asked Toy, you know, why, wh what do you think? I mean, what did you think about Quad not giving Dr. Ray? I don't know why they asked Toya. <laughs> but Toya has been making it very clear, you know, lately how she really feels about Quad. Like I said, this is like all of a sudden for me. And he was like, what do you think about her not giving Dr. Gregory what he wanted? You know, which was children. We all know Dr. Gregory always wanted children. Um, Quad has never and still does not seem to be ready to bear children for anybody, not just him. I think that's just in general. Some some women like to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. <laughs> you know, till they darn near 40 years old or 45, 50 or older and then want to try to get some medical help to try to have some babies. But anyway, anyway, um... Toya had a lot to say about that, you know, during the season. So that I'm, I'm that's probably why Andy asked her. Um, she sat right there and said that any man will cheat on their wife if he's not getting what he should be getting at home. Now, mind you, for those of y'all who were not paying attention, Andy specifically asked her, how do you feel about Quad not giving Dr. Gregory what he wanted, which was children, not sex. Children, not cooking. Children, not cleaning the house <laughs> and taking care of the house at home, but children. But then Toya was like, you know, any man, you know, will cheat on their wife if he's not getting what he should be getting at home. What he Gregory was not getting was children. So that's an excuse for him not to, you know, keep his stuff in his pants. That's the reason for him to be meeting some hookers, some whores, or some hoochie mama, some, uh, you know, just, I don't know who the heck he was. I don't know who the heck he was meeting, but they met in the hotel. She had to know he was married. He's on national TV for the last how many years? On a reality show, you know, so I don't know, home record, whatever y'all want to call her. Anyway, um, when Jackie was going through it with her husband, Toya didn't give her that same energy. She didn't give her that same energy at all. Uh, do Jackie got kids? Was Jackie giving her man sex? Um, uh, Curtis cheated on his wife because he got tired of her. This is what he's saying. He got tired of her always paying more attention to work. He didn't necessarily say that they weren't having sex, though. He just said she works a lot. She works a lot. Now, y'all can take that however y'all want it. Because I still say, regardless, if you have a sex... If you're home all the time, if you're cooking three square meals a day, including snacks in between these meals like you're at a daycare, uh, if you're swinging on a chandelier across the bedroom and standing on your head, 
If a man's going to cheat on you, a man's going to cheat on you. It don't matter how many times and how many different ways from Monday to Sunday that you give it to him. If he wants to cheat on you, he's going to cheat on you. So I thought that was pretty kind of messed up. But I'm glad I wasn't the only one who agreed either because Jackie and uh <laughs> Jackie and Heavenly was like, uh-uh, hold up, hold up. You can't be giving him a pass. You cannot be giving him a pass. But then Toy was like, I ain't giving him no pass. I ain't giving him no pass. I already said I'm not giving no men no passes this year. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, she wasn't giving Jackie that same energy when Cecil cheated on her. She didn't. And she didn't give Simone that same energy either. Now, we all know. Let's keep it a buck. We all know that even though even though neither Cecil nor Simone said that the reason why they almost signed on the dotted line, those divorce papers, was because he was cheating. But Simone, in a roundabout way, kept insinuating that he and his bestie, which is his, you know, female friend, his female BFF, they were just too close for comfort. They spent a lot of time together away from Simone, <laughs> like away from a Simone. And then the bestie, when she stayed with them for like a week, you know, over the holidays, Simone continually was asking him, like, Cecil, make her go home. She don't need to be in my house for a week. Why is she here? She got a home. I mean, I can see if it was a couple. Like, if my good girlfriend and her husband were coming into town to visit us, visit family, whatever, and, you know, they want to crash at the hotel, you know, I welcome them, you know, her and her husband, you know, in my house. But... To have some lady that my husband is best friends with stay at our house for like a week. And they already had like issues with her. Like I think really, I really think that Simone thought that Cecil and his bestie had relations. I really do. I really, really, truly do believe that. But um, anyway, you can kind of sense that when... Um, they had got into it over him going to meet his uh, bestie for his birthday when they had that birthday dinner. And Simone was going off. She was like, if you meet her, if you go visit her, if you go to dinner with her, do not come back home. That's exactly what Simone said. So y'all tell me if y'all think that Simone thought they was cheating or not. But... But my point is, Toya didn't give her that same energy, but she's giving that energy to Quad. Oh, well, they cheat on you if you ain't doing what you're doing at home. So I guess that goes for Simone and Jackie, too. They wasn't doing what they need to do. Mm, I don't know. Insecurities, I'm telling you. Insecurities. <laughs> but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know how y'all feel about that. But anywho, um, when Jackie and them was like, hold up. Don't be giving Gregory a pass um, because we all know, like I was saying, a man will cheat regardless, no matter what you do for him, no matter how many times you clean his dirty drawers or how great of a mother you are or a cook or whatever, <laughs> whatever. But to me, it also sounded like Toya was blaming Quad for not making sacrifices um, to bear children for Gregory. In a way, in a way, um, I don't know because with their relationship, Quad and Dr. Gregory, just from what they was letting off, you know, just from what we was getting from them over the seasons, I think from the jump, Quad knew she didn't want to have kids anytime soon. That kind of happens when you meet somebody. So you got to be careful who you marry. You got to be careful who you plant your seeds with, uh, who you build a home with. Because if somebody goes in telling you, I don't want to have kids, and you're just like, oh, okay, they're going to change their mind one day. Or, oh, okay, they're going to eventually stop using birth control or miss some or whatever, and they're going to slip up. Something's going to happen. Some kids is going to come from out of nowhere. I mean, you have to get with somebody who have a common goal, who have a common drive, who, you know, have, if you want to have kids, marry somebody who want to have kids. 
Don't marry somebody who don't want to have kids. And then be hounding them year after year after year when we going to have kids. That's that's kind of what he got. That's kind of what he got. But anywho, um, back to uh, when Andy asked Toya, you know, why she mentioned on their last couple's trip that Quad can no longer join them on any more couple trips. Andy was like, um, how you going to be like... When she said, why do she want to be around my man? Not again, not around their man, but why she want to be around my man? Like as if quad is going to be all up in Eugene's face. You know, all of a sudden she's just going to be all up in his face in his space, you know, on a couple's trip. I mean, she was just married. Heck, she's still married. You know, um, I don't know how many months back they recorded the show. Now they could have be have finalized divorce by now. I, I haven't seen anything in the blog, so I'm just assuming they still married. Um, so she's still she's still married. And then in just a few short months, she's like, Oh no, she can't go. She has to stay away from us, no longer go on the trips. I'm like I'm glad somebody else, somebody else finally, finally said something besides Andy. Jackie was like, I have to respectfully disagree with you, Toya. And I'm going to say I'm with Andy, Jackie, and Heavenly, because Heavenly also was like, what? I mean, if this was some new chick, some new random chick uh, who wanted to go on a couple's trip with them, I can understand that. But Qua has been around them for years. For years, she she's still married. Now, mind you, they might be separated, but she's still married and she's still part of y'all crew. You might as well say she's part of y'all clique. So, I, again, I don't understand the insecurity with Toya because I can't explain it no other way. If y'all can explain it another way, please let me know. Please let me know. <laughs> Please let me know because Toya was not making sense to me at all. At all. But then it's like this. If Heavenly, like, okay, I'm sorry. Let's say Quad. Um, if Quad is no longer married by next season, I wonder if she'll be even allowed to be on the show anymore. Because the show is called Married to Medicine. So I wonder if she won't be allowed to be on the show anymore. I mean, it's not like the Housewives of Atlanta where, you know, the ladies have to be basically, <laughs> you know, all them ladies ain't married. <laughs> they not all married, all them ladies that be on that show. And even when they get separated or something, they still be on the show or they can bring a friend like Marlo. You know, she can be a friend and they can have her on the show. She can still have like half a peach. You know what I mean? But um, this show is married to medicine. So we just going to assume to be on the show, you got to be married to a doctor or you got to be some kind of like dentist or psychiatrist or, you know, something or either married to one. So. I, that's something I really would like to know. Like, even like if Simone would have got divorced, you know, they was almost there really, 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 really close. And then they pulled back and they was like, you know what? We're going to give it a chance. We're not going to get divorced. We're going to work on it. Seriously work on our marriage. But I wonder if they would have got divorced, would her and Cecil have to leave the show? So I want, I wonder how that works. I wonder how that works. If y'all let me know, Again, feel free to put it in the chat. But uh, one thing I'm going to say is that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was finally glad when they dismissed the ladies and brought the men onto the stage. I was like, by then I had had enough of the, the ladies, them going back and forth. Um, that scene when they replayed Gregory speeding off. Remember that scene? They played it with him and Quad had got into it. She wanted to talk about their relationship. Gregory was like, I'm out, deuces, peace. He grabbed his golf clubs and got into that tiny little itty bitty mini Koopa, I think it was. <laughs> He got in that little car. He sped off down the road. And all you heard was burnt rubber. He was like, because he was just getting out of there in that little car. And she was yelling out the window, Oh, so you don't want to try to figure out our relationship? That boy was in that car. I like, ain't that little bitty car. <laughs> I was 
what? That was the funniest. That was the funniest mess to me. Besides the point fact where he was talking about like every time he brings it up about that bed, about that sleep number bed, how he walked in the house and he noticed ain't no furniture in that house. Quad that took all the furniture out. Um, the TVs, the couches, the dishes. Quad, she probably took the rugs. Everything, <laughs> everything out of there. The bathroom decorations. Um, he walked in there. And he was like, "Okay, okay, she gonna be petty like you know how you talk. She gonna be petty like that." <laughs> At least I got my bed. I can go into my bedroom and I can sit back and I can watch my sports, my basketball, my football. That man walked up in that bedroom and he was like, he probably wanted to fall out, probably wanted to pass out. Them sleep number beds are expensive for one. And he was just sitting there talking about, oh, I'll be sitting up and I'm going to be watching my shows and I can lean it back and all that. Then he walk in there and it's gone. <laughs> I'm like, dang, Quad, you didn't leave him nothing. No bed, no mattress. I mean, did you at least leave him a blow up mattress? That was funny. That fun. <laughs> he keeps bringing it up over and over again. But every time I be cracking up. But you know what? Um, <laughs> as far as like the men, like the fellas, like this season was kind of unlike any other season because of the fact there were certain times when the women would get into it and the husbands would get like really upset. And try to get into it. And they showed the scenes where Scott, you know, he had tried to get into. Remember when, uh, was it Simone? Yep, it was Simone and his wife. Uh, they had got into it on the boat. And he kind of like had got into it. And he was yelling at Simone and all this kind of stuff. And I think he learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> he learned a valuable lesson this season. Like when it comes to the ladies fighting, fellas. Just stay out of it. Ain't no weapons involved. No broken glasses. No wine glasses. <laughs> Just stay out of it. I mean, they do not need backup. We don't need y'all to jump into our fights. Y'all sit over there, drink y'all liquor, or whatever y'all doing, you know, shoot y'all pool, or whatever. We don't need y'all backup. But I mean... I thought <laughs> all the men was going to come to blows on the couple's trip. Like when Mariah and Heavenly got into it. And Heavenly again. Talking about the mama. See, that back in the day when you was on the playground, whether it was grade school, middle school, high school, talking about somebody's mama would get your butt beat down. Like, you better know how to fight if you're talking about somebody's mama. And I know several times over the years when my children was young, they would come home, Mama, somebody said something about you. Or somebody, da -da -da. do it look like I care? I don't care. <laughs> if I look like Godzilla, if I was the ugliest person on the earth, I don't care what the little kids say. You do not have to go to bat for me. Because all that's going to happen is you're going to get in trouble, you're going to get suspended, you're going to get kicked out of school, you know, in-house suspension, something. Don't don't talk about my mama, just talk about their mama. Just <laughs> so you got to keep it an even even playing field when you're little kids. You can't tell them go out there, oh yeah, they said something about me, go knock them aside the head. You can't tell them little kids nothing like that, you know. We are the responsible party here in the situation. <laughs> but anyway, um, Aiden was like, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We ain't going to bring family into this heavenly. And then Damon, he got up and he was like, man, it's whatever. He threw his chair out the way. It's whatever. It's whatever you want to do. Um, I'm beginning to see. I'm telling y'all, I'm beginning to see a different side of Aiden. Like, is this the real Aiden? Or, again, is this just a don't mess with my family Aiden? Because when Quad and Mariah got into it over Mariah's sister's husband, and he went into that room, and he was going off and calling her all kind of names. I mean, he just looked like his whole head was spinning around, and fire was coming out the top of his head. I was like, dang. Aiden? Where does Aiden come from? But <laughs> but anyway, anyway, 
Anyway, he might have been a snitch and all. They was teasing him about being a snitch. You know, you going back, talking to Mariah, you know, about certain things, you know, that they talk about. But I tell you one thing. Aiden ain't no punk. I can see that now. <laughs> I mean, I ain't trying to say he was a punk before, but I, I would have never imagined Aiden to just, you know, just Aiden look like he can get with them, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, Damon was right. Men should know when you cross that line and getting into, you know, the ladies' disagreements, it can potentially get really ugly. You think it's ugly with them cussing and going off, you getting into it, then their husband getting into it, then everybody fighting. And you know what? That's one thing I like about these guys. Like, whew, every time, almost every event, every occasion, every outing every couple's trip i mean year after season after season year after year they have to witness their wives fighting and dragging each other and clowning and cursing and your mama this your mama that and bitch this bitch that. i mean just all the time and they'll be sitting there either laughing at it or looking off to the side, you know, sipping on a drink or, you know, they'll get together by themselves and, you know, for pool or golf or whatever. And, you know, just have a good time. Like, okay, that's, that's the ladies. We're going to leave that right there. So I don't know what made several of them this season try to buck when they women was getting into it with the other women. So, I don't know. I don't know. But Scott did learn his lesson. <laughs> and I do believe Damon, he found out something too. Uh, Aiden ain't no punk. Y'all, Aiden ain't no punk. <laughs> but as far as like, um, it, as far as like the rumors again, you know, uh, that was spread about Mariah. When they were talking to Damon, you can still tell in his voice that he was extremely hurt, you know, by the allegations Mar Mariah had made, you know, about him cheating on Heavenly. And again, Mariah, you know, she later, she, she did apologize and later admitted that she said that out of spite because of being angry with Heavenly. Um, I still think she made it all up, even though she said I just wouldn't make it up out of thin air. I still think she just, that's just how I feel. I think she just made it all up. But then, you know, Gregory was um, still implying that he's always wanted to run his relationship to work. Um, I didn't see any of that, you know, this season or last season. Um, if y'all saw anything like that, let me know. I, I didn't. I didn't. And other people was even saying, you know, when the ladies were sitting in the background, the lady was like, I didn't see him trying to work on, you know, and they spend time with each other. We just watch, you know, once a week for about an hour. But they spend time, lots of time with each other. And even the other ladies were like, where? When did he try to, you know, work out something with Quad? Or, you know, he was always like running away, you know, trying to get away from Quad when she was trying to talk about the relationship. But I don't know. I, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Quad was like, nope, he ain't never fought over the relationship. He just, you know, tried to just, you know, run off. But I don't know why every trip or every season, um, I mean, every trip or every event this uh, season, you know, the ladies, I don't know how they, I know how the ladies chose. I know how they chose. But as far as the men, I think they kind of, like, when they were saying, you know, everybody was taking sides, um, some of them was like, no, we didn't take sides. We just chose. That's still choosing a side. That's still taking sides. You know, is Quad going to come? Is Gregory going to come? Who we're going to invite? I wonder how the men decided or how they made those decisions, or did they just, you know, base it off their wife ain't dealing with Gregory? You know, it had to make it really, really hard on the men because they, them and Gregory is like cool as a fan. So I don't know how that's going to work out next season 
if Gregory possibly starts dating someone else, that is something that I would like to see. <laughs> How the ladies are going to handle that, you know, if there's a new lady involved with Dr. Gregory. So I don't know. I don't know. But um, I just think that uh, as far as when they had Quad and Gregory, you know, sit down and when they had them discussing their relationship, I was thinking like, maybe, just maybe, like remember last season, Cecil and Simone, they was like literally, literally headed for divorce. Like, it's no turning back. We're getting a divorce. They living in two separate houses. I mean, Simone's way over here. He's way over here. They really was separated, like really separated. And then, like, on the last season, on the last show, on the reunion, they was like, we're going to give it a try. We're going to try. Everybody was all excited. All their friends was all excited because they really wanted them to stay together. So I wonder, by the end of reunion part three, will Quad and Greg still be going down the same road of divorce? I don't know what y'all think. Do y'all think there's still a chance? <laughs> Do y'all think there's still a chance that um everybody will try to like make them, you know, try to reconcile or, you know, try to go get therapy or counseling again or, you know, like they did with Simone and Cecil? Or do you think this is just totally something totally different, totally something that can't be fixed? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. But um when they brought them on the stage, I was like, dang, the show about to end. I can't even see what Doug Qua was going to say. But did y'all hear what <laughs> did y'all hear what Toya said? Like when they was showing like bits and pieces of what's gonna happen next, uh <laughs> next reunion part three. Toya was like, My JJ is priceless. Absolutely. I was like, what the heck is they talking about? <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is they talking about? But um, another thing I noticed on this uh, reunion, how Quad and Greg, I'm like, was they like looking at each other's window when they was getting dressed? Or did the producers, you know, whoever did wardrobe, did they purposely like manage somehow to get them to wear like the same color, like the same color tones and everything? Like her dress matched his shirt. I mean, he had on blue everything, blue, uh, I don't think his shoes was blue, but he had a blue jacket, blue shirt, blue pants, blue socks, and Qua had on this beautiful dress. I don't know who made that dress, but it was beautiful. So I was wondering about that. Like, how did they get to wearing the same doggone colors and get coordinated like that? But anyway... Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode, about any of the people on the show. Uh, let me know if y'all think there might be even a smidgen of a possibility of Gregory and Quad getting back together. Y'all let me know what y'all, let me know. Let me know what y'all think. And also, again, make sure if you didn't already click the like button on the way into the room, Please make sure you click the like button before you walk out the room. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And share. Please share my video on whatever social media platform you use, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Please share my video. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> and until the meantime and in the between time, prime time squad, y'all know how we do. Stay safe. Be blessed. And I'm out. Peace.